Pueblo Bonito, the wonder of the canyon. At its peak, Pueblo Bonito's 800 rooms may have housed over a thousand residents. Some sections overlooking the main plaza loomed five stories above the canyon floor. The plaza pulsated with life. Women gathered the colored corn blanketing the rooftops and knelt in rows to grind it. Children played. Men returning from the fields gathered to talk. Thirty-seven sacred kivas scattered throughout the complex speak to Pueblo Bonito's rich ceremonial life. During ceremonies, the feet of dancers pounded the ground smooth as spectators huddled against buildings and thronged the roofs to watch. But Chaco Canyon was more than a spiritual mecca. It was also a center of trade and commerce. And trade in one stone, more valuable to Chaco's Mexican trading partners than gold or jade, was the engine of the canyon's economic growth. Turquoise. Here, raw stone arrived from distant mines for the craftsmen of Pueblo Bonito to cut and shape into small tiles and beads, which were then traded south to merchant centers in the heart of Mexico. There they were transformed into extraordinary creations. For 150 years, trade fueled the Chaco economy. But the wealth and power of the canyon was fleeting. Chaco's major turquoise consumer, Tolan, in central Mexico, fell to civil strife. Extended drought or hostilities also may have contributed to the downfall of Chaco Canyon. <laughs> 